Hello, Scorpio. I will tell you, I have saved the absolute best for last. Normally, when I do my readings, I purposely do not save Scorpio for last because nobody's going to put baby in a corner. But for some reason, this time around, I kind of felt like you guys might have needed your own special customized energy. So let's see what God, angels, and universe has for Scorpio. This card was at the bottom and it popped right out. Mm, nice. Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. You have oncoming, incoming, beautiful energy and information. Boy, that King of, King of Wands. That is playboying. That is the person who set your world on fire. Not of wands, but you tired. You tired of meeting, you know, these great sexual partners. You're wanting something serious. You're wanting a more formal commitment. Yeah, you can screw anybody, but you're wanting somebody a little bit more serious. Now, here's the thing. I made a video for you guys, but it it never um, downloaded correctly, so I was not able to upload it to YouTube. It was the last round of videos that I made for for uh, all of the signs, and in those videos, it came out that if Scorpio, if you are looking for love, perhaps your major or your best option for the partner that you want is in somebody who is much younger than you. Now, trust me, guys, I'm damn sure I'm not talking about robbing nobody's cradle. But the day angels were saying during that reading, okay, listen, consider somebody who's younger than you, okay? Now, if you're 50, I'm not saying find somebody who's 20. I'm not talking about anything like that. But hell, if it happens, it happens, right? But the reason why I'm saying this and the reason why this is coming up is because all of these pages sitting right here right so you have three pages in a row three tres right um you have somebody who could be younger than you who's watching you they want to approach they want to let you know hey i like you you know they want to give you some sort of message you got somebody who's definitely wanting to, you know, give you some other kind of physical sexual message, right? And then you also have somebody who's actually interested and in wanting to give you some real serious energy, time, effort, you know, something that is of uh, value and potential. All right, God, listen, these first three cards... Judgment, I'll take. But these two here, come on, do better. I was reading my personal cards and I was getting the sun left and right. Don't leave me hanging, guys. Come on. Y'all know when I start getting pissed, y'all got to show up. King of Wands again. <sighs> Let's try this again. Lord. Other signs had like five and seven cards out. I'll accept that. The Knight of Wands. You opened and closed it with the Knight of Wands. And there is, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles. And there is another freaking wand. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you. You're reevaluating and you're thinking about what it is that you want. Who it is you want in your life. And what you want to give energy, time, and effort to. Oh, this is good news, by the way. I kind of feel like the reason why you keep attracting the fuck boys or fuck girls, the thoughts of whomever, is because you're closed, right? Right now, for a lot of you guys, you could be, excuse me, you could be concentrating and focusing on your money. It's almost like you may be using money. I'm just going to work and just throw myself into my job and career. And you're actually blocking your heart and you're actually minimizing your potential, right? Your potential mates and the people who are going to come in. You're locked down and blocked down. That's why these keep showing up. Because don't nothing block no damn pentacle. Excuse me, no wand. Okay, this is hot, fiery energy. The fire will burn its way through stuff. Okay, 
So for a lot of you guys, if the question is, yes, why the hell do I keep attracting these people who just want me for my body, especially if you're a woman, it's because you're blocked, you're locked down, right? And again, as intelligent as you are, Scorpio, you're saying to yourself, all right, I'm just going to throw myself into work. That's a part of the problem. That's a part of the problem, okay? Here with the Knight of Wands and then also the Five of Swords, right? You're the Knight of Wands, I feel like. It's like, damn it, enough is enough. It's like I've been fighting the same damn fight for nine years, nine months, nine days, right? And I keep coming up short. What is my problem, right? I keep getting into these situations, right? Angels just said, yeah, but are your guards down? first, right? And if your guards are down, you, you keep getting into these situations where you have to immediately pull out right away because it's like, shit, I ain't even sticking around in this bullshit because this is bullshit, okay? So it's almost like you get in and you get out incredibly quick. But angels are also saying to me too, this some of this is self-sabotaging behavior as well, all right? Now, this say, for instance, is why you are where you are or why your situation is where it currently is. Let's start talking about like going forward. Okay. Going forward. Scorpio, I'm sorry. You exude and attract sex and sexual energies. Okay. So you, by default, unfortunately, are always going to attract somebody who wants to get in between the in-between okay and I do kind of feel like yeah you have many admirers you have many admirers some of them are watching you I always pull the wrong freaking card some of them are watching you yeah it could be online right it could be at work you know somebody could be logging on just to see if you're logged on or whenever they log on it's like oh is she logged on today Right? It's like somebody is, is secretly just kind of watching you. And yeah, this person could be younger and also at the same time, they could be immature as well. Right? But you have, I mean, everybody except for the one in this card is a male. So definitely if you are a female, you have many, many, many admirers. What's unfortunate is that the King of Pentacles nor the King of Cups is amongst those admirers, right? But you have the Page of Pentacles, right? And you got freaking, you got the Page of Pentacles twice, actually. Sorry, the Page and the Knight of Pentacles, right? So there is somebody, yeah, who could be younger. Yeah, they could start out younger. They could start out, um, you know, a little immature, but it looks like, yeah, gradually they grow. And yeah, at the same time, they're slow as fuck right not necessarily your speed right so it's almost like do you want to build and or develop that this particular person you know i don't know if they'll ever freaking show their face because they're like hell bent on just watching you it's almost like they're secretly stalking you but shit even a stalker at some point makes himself known right? This person is just kind of laying back in the cut, not necessarily saying nothing, but spending all their time and energy just watching you, okay? Now, let's talk about these wands sitting on this table, right? You have the king of wands, you have the page of wands, and then you have the ace of wands. Yeah, that is high sexual energy. Again, it's unfortunate. You're not going to get away from that. Just be honest with yourself, Scorpio. You're too damn sexy, or Scorpio, okay? You're always going to have people who are going to kind of show up because that unfortunately is who you are and it's what you're going to attract until your dying day. Until You can be 90 years old and, and attracting 60 and 70 year olds who are trying to get with you or 20 or 30 year olds who are trying to get with you because Scorpio, that's who you are. That's your energy, okay? Um, but also at the same time, angels just said to me, but another thing, right? And another thing, you have the ace, which means that, yeah, you'll always have options. Page of Pentacles again. You'll always have options. You'll look, another freaking male person. And again, this did, please don't take this as being, um, you know, gender specific. This is just, you know, forward moving energy, masculine energy, the more, say, for instance, aggressive energy. 
This could represent females as well. But look at all of these men on this table. Once I pulled up the Ace of Wands, you got nothing but men on the table. So if you're a female, right, you can pick and choose. And again, you could have, this could either be the same person, right, which I doubt. I feel like this is absolutely two different people. There are people left and right who want to make you offers. But right off the bat, Scorpio, you may DQ them, which is disqualify them because their age alone or, yeah, because they're more immature than you are, right? But then you have the next one, the Knight of um, Pentacles coming in, right? He may get DQ'd because he's fucking slow, okay? This one has already DQ'd himself because he's never going to show up to the party, okay? But then you also have the Page of Wands and the King of Wands who could be out for one thing, right? Along with this Ace of Wands, you know, my phallic card, right? But you're going to DQ them, why? Because they want one thing from you. They want one thing from you. And sometimes, I'm sorry, you, you uh, girls got to eat. You may want the same thing back from them. So it's good to be the queen. It's good to be the king. It's good to have options, right? But here's the thing, right? All of this is boiling down to, and I'm just going to move this over, right? All of this is boiling down to, again, everything that's happening over here, right? You're wanting, you're reevaluating, you're thinking about it, Right? You're wanting it to come in. And at times, it does come in. You got the Knight of Pentacles here again. You do have the options, right? So those of you who are out there, oh, I can never meet nobody. Stop telling that lie because you can. Then you'll say to us, oh, I can't meet the right person. Yeah, that I'll give it to you, Scorpio. Okay? But maybe for you, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not um, supporting cheating. But maybe for you, your person is spread out. I don't know. Or maybe for you, instead of disqualifying all of these people, go through them one by one and go through a process of elimination. Again, we're going to take the Knight of uh, the Page of um, Swords and put him to the side because he ain't never going to say nothing to nobody, right? He's just out there, you know, stalking and watching and, 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 and watching your every move, but he ain't never going to say nothing, right? So you're making a decision, yes, to move forward and to allow new love to come in. And you have nothing but options, right? You're blocking the sex, excuse me, you're blocking love. So the sex has no choice but to come in. You got the king of wands here twice, right? Let's look, let's keep it funky. You got the king of wands here twice. You got the... Page of Wands here. Okay, we only have the... Uh, you got the Knight of Pentacles here twice. Where's my other Knight? Here we go. You got the Knight of Pentacles here twice. You got the Page of Pentacles here twice. Right? You got the Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords, um, the, the Four of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. Right? Let's, put, let's go on and, and again, keep it funky. And even pull the Page of Swords out out here right let me move this over because it's a glare so you got the king and like all of these knights excuse me all of these um pages you got the knight here you got the king of wands here twice you got the knight of pentacles twice you got the page of wands here once you got the page of swords here once you got the page of pentacles here twice Okay, Scorpio, you have options. You have options. You have to commit to and change certain things about you, right? And it could just be your mind, right? At the end of the day, it could just, just be your mind. Just open yourself up, right? That's the next thing. Open yourself up, right? And when you open yourself up, yeah, you know, you're going to have to get rid of and do away with the whole woe is me, I can't meet nobody, so I'm just going to throw myself into work and not worry about it anymore. Or, you know, the universe brings me these situations and you know, as soon as I get into them, as soon as I come out of them, right? And you're going to have to change the narrative, right? Change this narrative away from 
the, the Ace of Wands to the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, you're transformative. You can do that, right? I was looking here to see if the Ace of Cups was coming up, right? But it's almost like you absolutely have options. And again, I don't care if you're a male. This could be female energy as well. You absolutely have options. You just have to... Um, Angels are saying you have to put yourself in a position to receive them, right? You got to get back out there. You got to get back in the game. If this is you, for a lot of you guys wanting love and wanting something something significant and wanting, you know, an airtight relationship, if you will, I mean, the options are right here. You're definitely going to have sexual partners. It is what it is, right? You're going to have people who are absolutely unreliable, excuse me, people who are reliable and you can count on. And, and they want to be with you and they'll be there for you, but they're slow as fuck, right? You're going to have the young whippersnappers who, you know, are coming with their own sense of value and determination and effort and energy, right? But again, are you DQ and all of those because they're younger than you? I don't know. Anyway, Scorpio, if this resonates, um, I hope it does. This is a little confusing because um, it's just it, it kind of started out as, yes, you're wanting these these things, but you're because of your past, you're throwing yourself into work. You're not necessarily entertaining any new options, but then also at the same time, you're bitter and down and sad maybe about the fact that you don't have any options. But the reality is, is you have nothing but options, right? You have probably more options than most, okay? These are eight, count them, eight core cards, uh, court cards, eight, Scorpio, eight, okay? You have options, okay? It's just up to you and whether or not you open up, you know, you you open up, you take your time, you, you keep yourself available. I know you're tired, boo-boo, I know you're tired, okay? You keep your options open, you change a couple of things in you, you morph, you allow the universe to, you know, transform you from the caterpillar to the butterfly, and you control the narrative, right? You control the narrative, you control what's going <laughs> to, I'm sorry, I was going to say what's going to come in and what's going to go out, but, <laughs> and on that note, Scorpio, I'm out of here. Love you guys, take care.